165 pounds. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay. Yum. Right, it's very nice, isn't it? Guys, I feel so Christmassy now. This is crazy. And it's a Saturday. Wanna know what London's like a Saturday before Christmas? Can't you please I'm filming this and you don't have to come here, but I'm just gonna grab my Christmas present. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I don't even wear a watch. I couldn't care less to wear a fancy watch. But anyway, let me show you Harvey Nicks. We are going to Harrods, don't you worry, for afternoon tea, but I'm here a little bit early and I'm gonna have a quick look at the windows of Harvey Nicks. It is a beautiful Saturday. It's currently zero degrees. It was minus five last night. I know that's probably not cold for many people. That is cold for London. And actually, by the time I've uploaded this, it's apparently meant to snow next week. We shall see. Oh, that drain. We whizzed past it the other day in a taxi, but look at uh, the Mandarin Oriental. Look at the beautiful Christmas decorations. Yes, this is a very, very busy road. But as we look across, I've been past here a few times. They've got a little sparkly glitter sequin vibe going on. Mind the bus. Thank you. Oh, here comes another one. Oh, how cold would it be to sit on the top? There is no one on the top. I don't blame them. Oh, and Burberry have got a few little stars. Can you see those? Just waiting for the road. Oh, we can cross. Now these decorations will be very, very different to Harrods. Look at these. Can I touch them? Yeah, they're like, how do they do that? Yeah, it's just like on a little plastic thing. Can you see that? And they wiggle and sparkle in the wind. It's a very basic technique, I do quite like that. But the windows, you're not gonna be able to see them too well. Um, they tend to just be fashion windows, yeah, and then they'll have kind of the departments and some of the brands um, called out in the corner. Yeah, a lot of the sales have started early. Um, I noticed this in Selfridges the other day, actually, which is doing some of my own shopping. A lot of it was already 50 to, well, 40, 50% off, but look at the trees. Yes, everyone is gone for like a real disco theme this year. I mean, as I pan back, that's a jazzy number, isn't it? But watch for the Christmas party. Over the top, we have got, oh, I love it. I like the little tubey things. They come a little bit closer. I haven't seen those anywhere. They're quite a good idea, aren't they? I'm sure they look wonderful at night, but yeah. Um, I'm surprised it's not crazy busy. Just crazy traffic. Some fancy clothing, but yeah, a little sparkly. Oh no, they have a casualty. A little bit calmer, wait till we get to Harrods, guys. It's gonna be hilarious, but I really like these bows, aren't they pretty? Totally random thing to mention, um, but the electric, the e-bikes of the Santander ones, they're the ones that are dark. They are so good. I've been using them so much, going to work, going to meet my friends. I usually have my helmet with me as well. Um, yeah, I was gonna cycle today. It was a bit cold and I don't have gloves, but I need to get like warmer gloves, so yeah. Maybe I need to get some later. I would say this does remind me a little bit of Debenhams. <laughs> I'm sure they wouldn't appreciate me saying that. Harvey Nichols. I did one only a couple of months ago, so I will link that ding, um, and one of those squares at the end as well and in the description. Well, let's not get hit by the mega boss. Oh, Heathrow. That old fire engine. How cute is that? Maybe it broke down. Maybe they're just taking it somewhere. But yes, I'm heading on to Harrods. Afternoon tea time. No, I am not showing you the food hall or any other sections apart from afternoon tea. If you want to see the rest of Harrods, guys, I've already done two vlogs in it. I've done all the outside decorations. I keep plugging my own channel and um, my own content, aren't I, on these videos? Apologies. Um, but yeah, if you want to go and see those, check those out after. I actually came to this afternoon tea last year. Was it the year before? Oh gosh, I can't remember. Uh, with my sister and my niece, so I'm interested to see the difference. It is £65, at least when we booked it, it was £65, so it's gone up £3 in the last year, which I don't think is too bad. But anyway, let's head on in. I'm freezing. My fingers are cold. Busy, busy, busy. Thank you. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm like queuing Sunglasses, food to get on the escalator. I'm just going to scoot in. It's busy, but I'm ready for a cup of tea. Oh, I love the decorations. We have made it. And yes, I'm probably showing similar things to last year. But I'm really pleased to see they have this gorgeous display, which I do remember. And they have got a lot of the Christmas items up here. So you can grab stuff. It seems like, well, are these just display? I'm sure you could just take them. But we've got... Uh, champagne, the full range of tea, coffee, hot chocolate. 
yeah, it can be down in the food hall. My friends just came from there and they did say it was something short of carnage, let's be honest. But we have got this kind of divider area. Just hiding the afternoon tea. This is a very, very relaxed one. So this is where the Harrods afternoon tea is. It's absolutely stunning uh, in the tea rooms. It's actually quite busy already. It's only quarter past 12. And let me just show you. Oh, looks stunning doesn't it yeah they've got a few more tables than i think they had last time if i remember rightly and this gorgeous gorgeous christmas tree oh my gosh i love it with a few little presents underneath and yeah it's all carpeted so it's a pretty calm environment as i pan past i'm sure people won't mind me filming them a little bit this room is absolutely gorgeous look at the ceiling and no it's not too loud and i did get comments last year that it sounded loud and we do have the digital art yeah if you watched last year's from dominic harris and they're like interactive she says yeah they oh it's so cool we've got a few of them around the outside it keeps the kids occupied yeah i've not been to the garden terrace we'll have to check that out at some point it looks like a yeah, little kind of conservatory uh, we'll try and see if we can see it later, but there is a piano there. The pianist, no doubt, will be playing later, so they do have some Christmassy music in the background. It's very nice, isn't it? I feel like we have like the best seat, and I'm here with all my friends. Luke, you're going to recognise all these guys. Rich, Karen, and Rachel. So this is our festive. Sorry, Luke, I can't quite get you in there. Tradition. tradition, yeah. So we've got a really nice table here. Look at this, and we've got a nice little booth. I'm feeling festive. Very Are we hungry? I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for my interview. Yeah, Luke, Luke looks like he's being I'm interviewed. Have a interview. <laughs> <laughs> I present to you. I'm hoping the lighting is okay, but we've got this little kind of like leathery um, menu. Oh, the pianist is playing. It's like a really nice, as I say, temperature volume. Let me zoom in. Like I said, it's really chilling here. So let me show you the menu quickly. So yeah, we're in the Harrods tea room. There's a little bit about the history. Do you know what? It's really tricky lighting in here to get everything in focus. If you want champagne, it's 16 uh, pounds. Oh, it's Prosecco, we can bottom 16 pounds onwards. Lots of different fancies, obviously extra, and you can get cocktails as well. Here we go, champagne. Um, and that yeah, it's pretty reasonable, it's pretty normal for, for places like this or hotels. And then some extra drinks, like soft drinks, gin. I'm hoping that's coming out, but I always find when I've been here to get everything in focus is a bit tricky. So this is the festive afternoon tea, it's £65, and I'm not going to read them all out, but a huge selection of different sandwiches. Everything is refillable, I mean within reason. Um, patisserie selection, the cakes here were amazing and they're all Christmas themed. Definitely make sure you leave room, because I think last year we didn't. And then the fresh baked scones, scones, however you want to say it. Um, there is plain and also raisin, and you can obviously take, I think, all the cakes and the scones home. I think last year though, they were a bit funny about us taking sandwiches because they need refrigerating. They also have a vegan afternoon tea, it's the same price. Um, yeah, so a few great selections if you want to kind of go down that route, especially with the sandwiches. It's good to see that they've got that. And then I'm going to quickly show you the tea. And of course, there are pages and pages of teas. I'm going to try and go for something a bit more adventurous. Mm, what should we pick? And I like all the illustrations. How cute they are. They're yeah, really fancy. A £65 supplement for the carrot leaf <laughs> tea. And uh, Luke was actually just looking. Oh, if I can get it. Seriously, the lighting in here is really struggling. Sorry. Um, it was the Hawaiian black tea for £40 extra. I don't think I can do that. Oh my gosh. So Luke's actually gone for the vegetarian one. Present presenting. It looks good. Oh my gosh, I think he's going to talk through what they are. Is that really similar to last year? Okay. Yum. Cucumber and goat cheese. Then we have the salmon on tomato bread with horseradish cream. In the middle we have the turkey, the yellow one with uh, uh, sage mayonnaise. Then we, to follow we have the cheddar cheese croquette to finish with the uh, egg brioche with truffle uh, mayonnaise. Uh, on the top of the chocolate yellow with vanilla champagne, then we got the raspberry mince and bubble, followed with the pistachio tree with cherry jam, 
to finish with the Aza Nut uh, Paris dress. Okay, so you can try a couple of teams. They said, um, yeah, pick one and then you can have another one later. I've gone for the 49 blend, which looks like it's an anniversary one. And quite a few people on the table actually have picked the afternoon special blend as well. But yeah, loads to pick from. These are going down really well. The Christmas sandwich is amazing. And this shoe bun thing is very interesting. I do quite like that, yeah. Trying to pace myself before the cakes. How was the vegetarian? I feel like people are going to ask. Yeah, there was one with like, uh, I want to say like pomegranate seeds, it wasn't so good, but the other ones were amazing. Mm. So, yeah. You've got to work up to the top tier now. I know. <laughs> so, what have you got for vegetarian? I don't actually remember what they were, but that looks really good, that one there. I think it's like a banoffee. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's, ra that's a raspberry. So, that's Yummy. Good. Yeah. And this was vegetarian, right? Thank you. Yeah, as I was saying, you can get um, your refills and they bring like a whole new tray. How often you can ask for refills? I always get comments from people. Um, within reason, I mean, we've been here, I don't, we've been here like half an hour and they were like, do you want any more? Is there a particular one? Like, if you want to just get loads of the egg or the, I don't know, the salmon, like, they can do that. So, um, yeah. But you've got to be hungry when you come here. Okay, the colour's gone a bit yellow, but this is so good. Look, you've got the little bauble. You're going to have to put a new one as well. I'm going to dig into a little, look at this chocolate look, with a gold leaf on the side. And we've just had got some scones, scones, all nice and warm in there. I'm literally barricaded in by these. <laughs> <laughs> talk dress code very quickly um, so the dress code here says no like uh, it says no sportswear no trainers I'll be honest with you I think about 25% of the people are actually wearing trainers obviously they don't they're not gonna like kick you out but it's quite nice to wear something a little bit smarter um, but yeah like black jeans don't think anyone's in a hoodie have we seen anyone in a hoodie We've seen one person in a hoodie, I mean, it's what lots it is. Of lots of trainers, yeah, lots of trainers. But um, very quickly, so yeah, as I said, this is £65. Um, I always get comments about other ones. I've not been to personally to Claridge's. Claridge's, when I looked, I think it's £85, and obviously you need to add 15% service charge. That doesn't include a glass of champagne. Most champagne you see is like 15 to 20 22 pounds for the rosé one in most places. And what was it? One I was going to say, the Savoy, which I had been to. Literally, I just plug in my channel all the time, which I did go to a couple of years ago. So that is, um, yeah, again, a really premium one. So this one is kind of in between some of the cheaper hotels and the higher end ones. So £65, as you see, you get a lot of food. Um, the ambiance is really nice. Some of these are the same as last year. Shall we oh, see what this is? Oh, Ooh, what is that? Let's give it a go. I'm just going with the yellowness. Well, you, yeah, this is like a really nice, let me pick this up. Oh, if I can pick it up. It's like a really nice little like strawberry something or other. Very, very nice. Um, and I'm going to try this gorgeous shoe bun yeah. one. And yeah, <laughs> we cleared the top shelf. Okay, so we actually, um, they give you boxes and you get a little Harrods bag as well. Um, so yeah, just order more and you can take it to go. Has everyone got their to go boxes? You don't I've usually- mine full. Well, we are sharing a box. But it is full. <laughs> full to the brim. Yeah, this is not like a normal thing for UK places where you get boxes. Ta da! For later. Heading off now. It was very nice. Quick review, we were just comparing this to Fortnum's and it's a bit of a mixed bag between us. I think some of us prefer Harrods, some of us prefer Fortnum's. I would say, look, I'm going to criticise it, there is a doorway and there's a constant flow of people walking through the room, which I'm going to be honest with you, does take away from like the specialness of it, um, which I'll show you in a second. So yeah, I would say if you're coming, ask not to be sat on that walkway, which we're not, but it is a bit bizarre with people just generally walking through and staring at everyone. So, in 
it looks like this behind me is not like a permanent wall so hopefully fingers crossed they do change this I think it still feels a little bit like it's under construction but um, as I saw very generous with all of the food yes you can ask for extra they just need to time it with the kitchen so they might say like oh do you mind waiting a bit for another tray of um, cakes for example but yes we had a couple of teas each lots of cakes lots of filled goodie bags uh, doggy bags we should say um, to go and yeah generally really good service they don't rush you we've been here for a couple of hours um, it's not too loud the piano I think is really nice so yeah if you want one that's maybe you'll see a bit more money it comes to like £73 each with the service you've added um, yeah I would recommend so yeah there's like a constant flow oh gosh people are going to criticise me here's a moment uh, where there's no one but yeah it's a bit of a crazy walkway along here we made it outside we did get a bit lost didn't we a little bit yeah <laughs> We lost half of it. Was busy. We were like, where's Luke? I feel like the fragrance area kind of messed up our like <laughs> our visual. Where are we? Yeah. we all got a bit Paradise lost. Yes, perfume as we're walking through. Well, we definitely enjoyed the afternoon tea. I'll get you all guys in shot. What would you rate it out of ten? I like to do ratings out of ten. Eight and a half? Yeah. Eight, I give it eight, eight point two five. <laughs> oh, very specific. Yeah, I agree with around the 8 to 8.25, but yeah, I'd recommend. Anyway, guys, Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching. And you're vlogging this, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, go and watch Karen <laughs> B's channel and go and watch Eleanor Dreaming, Luke and Rich for some fun. What have you got coming? Florida, Florida videos? Yeah, or yeah. Disney World. Yeah, I'll link their channels below, so definitely go and check those guys out. And I'll see you in the next video. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs>